What's going on guys and welcome to my 2020 marathon training plan and this video look the whole purpose of this video is basically just to give you guys a bit of an update an overview of what this plan is going to look like and we'll be covering a couple of things in this uh, in this video let's get into it so the first thing I want to talk about is well, what is the plan where did I get the plan from um, how did I come up with it and, and whatnot so um, I'm gonna chuck it up on screen but I basically use the Nike running app. This app you can download. I'm using the iPhone version. All right, so I mean, there's some stuff here that I've already used, but if you go through, you can actually pick out a running running plan, right? And the different running plans is determined by you. You can pick what you want to do, if it's for a race, it's for a workout or, or whatnot. And as we jump through here, I'm going to go through my settings. I'm going to not go through too much from here, but basically you can pick up and set what what your race distance is, you know, pick off the date, um, and ask you a series of questions around, you know, your your current activities, you know, what's a long run for you, what's your current race or best efforts, how many um, runs can you do a week, you know, obviously it's going to be using all this information to determine what the plan is going to be like. Um, so as we go through all those, you know, I'm just setting it up, as you can see, um, and then it asks around, you know, your, your height and your weight as well. So once then, once that's all set up, basically it's going to start to generate it for you. It's going to tell you it's done. Um, yep, as you can see, and and then it's going to get into it. So I'm just going to have a quick skim of what I've got here. Um, you know, 727 kilometers in total, 107 workouts, and this is week one. Looks pretty basic to me. Rest day, speed, endurance, speed, uh, a cross training day, a long run day, and then an endurance. Um, so that's a bit of a sneak peek. But if you click on the full schedule, you can see basically every week broken down of what what what's expected right um, now the good thing about this plan is as you go through it recalibrates or it readjusts or re-updates based on your performance on that week you've just done so I might get to the end of week two or week three and it's saying okay I'm doing better than expected or I'm struggling it will basically readjust it now maybe I missed a couple of runs once again it will go through and adjust it of what's um you know, what it thinks is going to be best for you in order to <laughs> proceed and to continue to get that best progress possible. Um, so look, that's that's basically the plan. Um, if anyone, if any of you have any questions on that, let me know. I'd be more than happy to answer and um, I'll be curious to know if anyone else has used it as well because I've used it for all my runs, like sorry, all my races in the past. Um, it's great to plan and I think what I'll end up doing is I'll probably adapt, change it. Um, you can reschedule it yourself in terms of, you know, shift runs around and things like that, but um, based on how you rate each run, you know, was it too hard, too easy, it will then adapt it itself. However, I, I tend to shuffle things around or sometimes, you know, I guess diverge from that plan depending on what I'm feeling or what I think I need to be doing. So I'll see how that plan changes over time and, and I'll let you guys know in the series too. So the next thing I want to talk about, number two, is what's the goal, right? So as if you haven't seen my, my previous uh, marathon video, check it out. But, you know, I basically got four hours and 45 minutes. My goal is to get 4.30. Stretch goal is to beat 4.26. <laughs> um, that's purely just to beat my girlfriend. Um, but, yeah, I'm aiming for 4.30, and I think that's that's quite doable. Um, wiping off 15. Um, it'd be nice to come out with a bit more and surprise myself. But, you know, let, let's see what happens. So that's, that's the goal. Now, things to consider. Um... As I mentioned, the plan, it might change, might adapt to it, which is okay. The plan's 18 weeks. Usually I would try and do a 20 week kind of thing, but the race day has slightly moved and that's okay as well. So let, let's see how it goes, which kind of brings me to the second point in terms of, um, you know, just things that I need to be considering. And I mentioned it previously in one of my other videos was what if the marathon doesn't go ahead? Meaning what if the event gets canceled? So I'm going for the Melbourne marathon. It's on the 4th of October. Um, and it's a big event, right? You know, they have over 20,000 people. So with everything that's happening, I am actually going in with the intention that I'm going to be doing this myself somewhere um, on a makeshift course, whether it's going to be multiple loops of 5Ks or, or whatnot. So that is quite a huge possibility across this entire plan. And that, that's taken into account. So mentally, I'm prepared from that from day one. Um, there'd be nothing worse than doing this plan and then they cancel it and then I'm just devastated. So... There's an expectation I'm going to do this marathon regardless um, of if it's on an actual event or if I'm going to be doing it somewhere at home. And the third thing is probably injury management in terms of things I need to be considering because 
Injury is obviously something that scares everyone. I've had multiple injuries. So I'll be making sure that I'm doing the right things as best as possible that I know at the point in time to um, obviously delay or um, ignore, I mean, so to mitigate any possible injury. Um, I've had a number of different ones over the years. So obviously I do things to prevent those coming back. New plan, you know, new goals means there's obviously new opportunities for things to go wrong. Um, so let's see, but that that's basically something that I'll be putting a lot of attention to. The final thing I want to talk about for this entire video is, um, you know, we've talked about what's the plan looking like, what's the goal looking like, um, and also some of the things to consider, but what about the series, right? So the series will be a weekly um, recap each week, um, and, you know, what you'll be able to see in that, hopefully, um, if, if it all goes to plan, is basically a, a small breakdown of each of the runs each week. Now, I'll be aiming to do four to five runs a week. Um, or workouts in this sense. And the idea is that I can do a bit of a recap at the end of the week, tell you how I go, um, how I'm feeling, and you know, leading into the next week, what, what's a bit of a snippet and, and whatnot. So look, I mean, I would love your feedback on this. <clears throat> if there's certain things that you wanna see, let me know. However, you know, I'll probably adjust it, you know, update it and try and make it more fulfilling and more of a value to you guys watching along and um, you know, the intent here is to obviously make a bit of content, have some fun while doing it, to document it for myself, to see the progress, but also to provide you guys some value, some insights, what's it like as, you know, just another everyday runner going for a marathon. This is my second marathon, so, you know, I am prepared me mentally for it. Um, it doesn't mean that I won't need to be doing more training for that, of course. Um, so, you know, I just want to have fun and I'm super excited to be doing it. Um, you know, now that I'm stuck at home a lot more working from home with the current situations, it's great to be able to get out and do these runs in my time when it's daylight. <laughs> I shouldn't have to do as many night runs, hopefully. But, you know, look, let's see. Uh, that will be all part of the plan and the series. Um, and I'm looking forward to, to creating that for you guys. So let me know what you want to see there. If you have ideas, suggestions, let me know. I've already got some from some of my other videos that people have suggested and, you know, I'm taking that into account. So look, that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video, bit of an insight, bit of an overview of, you know, what to expect. After this video, I'll be releasing my first week and um, hopefully <laughs> it's got everything that I've just discussed and it, it's quite clear, but, you know, as I said, I'll be looking to make it more and more interesting each time. And that's dependent on your feedback. So let me know what you think. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, do the whole shebang and hustle.